Welcome back to Tenorshare. Are you looking for the best tool to downgrade your iPhone to a previous version? Sometimes, new system updates, like the iOS 18 beta, may not run smoothly on your device. If you're also unhappy with your current iOS version and want to revert to a previous one, here are three tools you can use to downgrade safely with step-by-step -step guide. Let's dive in. Downgrading requires many steps, so make sure to watch the entire video to avoid any mistakes. Here are the three best tools for downgrading your phone, iTunes for Windows, Finder for Mac, and Reiboot for all devices. iTunes and Finder are official Apple software that you can use to manage music and find your device, but they don't provide a direct downgrade option. You need to follow several steps and get the exact correct firmware version for your phone. If you make a mistake, your phone could get stuck in recovery mode and be difficult to recover. However, these tools are free, so they are worth considering if you are comfortable with the process. For a simpler and less error-prone method, you can use Reiboot. It automatically detects the available firmware versions for your phone, making the downgrade process much easier and more reliable. You can check out how to downgrade with these three tools in the following section. Here is all the steps you need to do, and you have to make sure to back up your data. Let's go. Step one, turn off Find My. Just go to your account in Settings, and go to Find My, then turn it off will be fine. We need to turn off Find My to prevent getting stuck during the backup and downgrade process and the activation lock after the downgrade. Then we need to backup our data. Step 2. Backup your data in iTunes. It's recommended to use iTunes to backup your files instead of iCloud. It's more comprehensive and you don't need to pay for larger space on iCloud. But you need to modify your backup on iTunes after the downgrade. So here we go. Connect your device to your computer, download and open iTunes. Go to the summary page and click backup now to create a local backup. Alternatively, you can backup your data in Finder, which works the same way. While backing up data, you can start the downgrade process. Step 3. Downgrade your phone. Here is a thing, if you want to downgrade with iTunes and Finder, it may have to go through a lot of errors. For your convenience, I will now show you a simpler way first, which is to use Reiboot for three steps and then show you how to downgrade with iTunes. Method 1. Downgrade with Reiboot. Reiboot provides a reliable alternative to downgrade your iOS version, and its downgrade feature is way more helpful than iTunes. It's super easy. It supports all iPhone models, and it can automatically figure out your iPhone model and the available version to downgrade to. You can download the software from the link below. After downloaded and open Reiboot, click the Downgrade button. Select Downgrade. It auto-detects the available downgrade version. No need to download the firmware separately, so compared to iTunes, the process is almost error-free. When it's done, Make sure your backup is completed before you initiate the downgrade process. Then you can start the process and wait for it to finish. Now you got your phone back to iOS 17.5. By the way, you can also use Reiboot to upgrade your phone. It has various versions for you to choose to update to and it's more stable and quick. If you want to know how to downgrade with iTunes, let's move on. Method 2. Downgrade with iTunes Downgrade with iTunes, which you need to manually search and download the IPSW file. Visit the IPSW.me website to locate the iOS files you want for your iPhone model. Then download the file and wait for the process to complete. After this return to iTunes or Finder to import the downloaded IPSW file, Make sure your backup is completed, then hold the Shift key. Click on Restore iPhone 
and select the IPSW file you downloaded. Confirm the restoration and your iPhone will downgrade to the version you downloaded. If you are using Finder, just holding the Option key instead of the Shift key to import the files will be OK. The process is mainly the same. If iTunes prompts you with an error or not support the file, you can always go back to explore the alternative method with Reiboot. OK, after the downgrade, your phone is back to factory settings. Let's head to the data restored process. Step 4. Modify the backup. If you backed up your data with iOS 18, and now your phone is back to iOS 17.5, some modifications are necessary. If your phone was not detected in iTunes, reconnect it. Then, go to the Restore Backup page in iTunes. Hold down the Win and R keys to open the Run dialog box. Type in percent app data percent and hit Enter. Navigate to Apple Computer, Mobile Sync, and open the backup folder. If you don't see the backup folder, hold down the Win and R keys to open the Run dialog box. Type in percent user profile percent instead. Then, go to Apple, Mobile Sync, and open the backup folder. The backup we created should be the most recent one based on the last modified time. Inside the folder, scroll down to the bottom and find the info. Open it in Notepad. Press Ctrl and F to open the search bar and search for the word product. Not too far down, you'll see the product version. If you downgrade from iOS 18, it should say 18 and you can change it to iOS 17.5 or the version you downgraded to. Tap Ctrl and S to save the file. Now we can go back to iTunes and start the restore process. Click on Restore Backup and select the backup we just modified. iTunes will start the restore process and your iPhone will restart. For macOS users, hit Manage Backups. Right-click to locate the file place. Find the info and open it. Just like what we did with iTunes, press Command plus F. Search for the word product and modify it to the version you downgraded. Remember to save the file. This will make our backup match with the previous iOS. Once the restore is complete, you can set up your phone again. This time, all your apps, photos and other data will be restored. And your phone will be downgraded to the version you like. And that's it. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If these help, like and subscribe for more insightful tips or check out our other videos. See you next time.